Hello everyone, my name is Mariah and I am the creator here at uh, Mrs. Nitty Rogers' YouTube channel. Uh, this is a video podcast and I'm gonna get right into today. I wanted to um, just kind of share my ideas for DK weight sweaters that I want to guest on here. Um, the next, you know, few. Um, I think I have like eight or nine total that I was thinking of, and these all came from Stash, so I'm pretty excited. I had a lot more DK in Stash than I thought. I love working with fingering weight and fingering weight sweaters, but with it transitioning to fall, it's very fall outside. Um, it's very cold. It's not very cold, but like, you know, not summer anymore. Um, I want to start working on those heavier sweaters so that I can wear them on the weekends and at night. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, yeah, so DK weight sweaters, all from Stash. I have my notes here, so, um, and I'll try to provide links um, to all the patterns. I'm not very good at editing. I just, I just don't do it. So I'm not gonna be able to like show a picture right here or anything. I really appreciate the podcasts that do. I think that's so cool, but I'm just gonna provide a link at the uh, below. It's only eight sweaters, so it'll be easy to go find and it won't be a very long video, but it'll be fun. Okay, here we go. So number one is going to be the Celosius um, sweater. It's by um, uh, Jennifer Steingass. I am going to make it into a t-shirt. I do want to be able to wear it at work. I work. I walk around too much and am too busy to wear anything long sleeve, so I get really hot. So I really like the short sleeves for work on Fridays. Um, we have like casual Fridays. So I got, I've been um, having this one in particular in the works for a while and um I had gotten some Sorella yarn classic DK which is 100% superwash merino wool I think this was last year's spring tonals I think but the main color is going to be correct me if I'm wrong I'm sorry I'm not I don't do French I do Spanish um my son and Jardine this is going to be the main color and this is going to be the contrast color it is a top down round yoke colorwork sweater and I'm going to make it into a tee. So I think this would be really cute, really pretty. I don't have many, very, very many cream sweaters or anything. So that'll be a nice um, difference for me. So that's going to be number one is the Celosius tee. Next one I really have been wanting to do for a while is called the Wo Woodward Pullover, I think, by Alicia Plummer. It's um, kind of like a three-quarter sleeve, or is it a full sleeve? I can't remember. I should have looked it up. But it's kind of cropped, and at the bottom it has a lace, um, like tree-looking motif. And it's just like top-down, I think it's a round yoke. Um, I can't remember it's round yoke or raglan. Sorry, guys. I should have looked it up. Uh, my husband got me for Christmas, I think like two years ago, this Rowan felted tweed, which is a DK weight yarn. It is felted effect yarn made with merino wool and alpaca, and it's like a tweed. Um, he got me two sweater quantities of each of these colors, so I don't know which color I'm going to use yet, but I've been wanting to use this up just to see what it's like. And I think of uh, a tweed moody... Uh, woodward tee or woodward top. I'm going to do full sleeves with it. Um, I might add a little bit of length, but I mean, like my pants are pretty high waisted and I kind of want to see what it'd be like right, like right here. I don't usually like cropped pieces, but I don't know, maybe that'll be okay. So I have these two sweater quantities in both. Oh, it's got, so it's 50% wool, 25% alpaca and 25% viscose. It feels like a non super wash for sure. It feels a little rustic and I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like when I do um, block it and wash it with some wool wash. It it might have that rustic feel because it is like partially felted. Um, I personally don't think that felted things are very soft but I've also not done many like felted things at all just cause I don't like the look of it. But I think this is gonna be really pretty, so. I think I might do the green. I don't have many green sweaters. I have quite a few blue sweaters, especially now that I'm working on. So I think I'm gonna do the green. I think it's really pretty. It has like yellow, blue, and cream tweed bits in it. So yeah, so that'd be good. Um, the next one, I think this is gonna be my next cast on for sure, is the Double Date Sweater by Winter's Weather Knits. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. It's a bottom up 
oversized um, sweater with a stripe, like knits and pearls uh, motif for the stripes. And um, yeah, so the main color, I got all um, Explore Knits and Fibers Rockies DK because the, the thing that inspired me to do it was her sample in her winter tonals last year or it was winter tonals, right? Yeah. Anyways, um, that's what inspired me to do it, but I didn't want to do like the green that was in her winter tonals. So I had been like, I shopped a couple different, um, <clears throat> a, def d a couple different updates just to get the colors that I wanted. So the main color is going to be Avenois. Avenois? It's like a nice charcoaly, purpley gray. I really like it. I think it's going to be really pretty. And then the stripes are going to be Sonder, Linen, and Pollen. Oh, I think those are going to be so pretty. I think I've talked about this sweater before in these, you know, um, in the podcast before. But yeah, I think it's going to be so pretty. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, that one was like, that's the first time I've ever shopped multiple updates for one sweater, like one specific sweater, just to, just to get exactly what I wanted instead of like settling for um maybe what looked good or what the inspiration was but i'm very happy with this so that's gonna be exciting um let's see the next one is the dear duomo by S i'm sorry sang he hong i think everybody knows this sweater dear duomo she had knit it in you know exploring this and fibers uh duomo yarn colorway um it's bottom up um drop shoulder I am nervous about it being too cropped. Um, I think there are some people, ooh, this is coming apart, sorry. I think there are some people like on the Discord channel that have talked about it. So I'm just gonna ask um, a general question in the Discord channel. I also kind of know what my length I like between, um, for body length. But my big thing with like bottom up is that you don't know where the armpit is gonna start in the pattern you know, for the designer's ideas. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? So the one, the, the yarn that I have is the Wandering Flock. This is her 100% Superwash Extra Fine Merino in the colorway Unicorn Magic. Oh, I love this stuff. It's so pretty. I'm really excited about this one. I don't have many, like, really pretty white like this. This is like my whole, my, my love. This is what I love. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Look at all those speckles. Anyways, I'm really excited about this one. My best friend, Melissa, she wants to do a Dear Duomo sweater as well. So maybe as soon as she does it, because she's a, a one, one whip at a time person. And I'm a lot of whips at a time person. So maybe whenever she says she starts it, I will just go ahead and start it. But we'll see. Anyway, Dear Duomo is next. The next one is the Lyon sweater um, by Petite Knit. It is a top-down sweater with stripes in the body and I think on the sleeves as well. It's full length. It's got like a, I guess, a special shoulder construction. I can't remember what it's called right now, but um, it's one that she's been using a lot like in her poppy tee and... Um, I guess in the, it's in the Ava cardigan too. Um, I was thinking about doing it in a um, Double Sunday, which is the yarn that she really likes to use a lot. But I had this in stash. I was going to use this for a downtown hoodie, but I'm already working on a solid color one. So I think someday down the line, I'll do a striped downtown hoodie. But for now, I really want to do this. So again, with the cream, I have a main color of this uh, button from Coast to Coast Yarn Co. This is her classic DK, 100% superwash merino. This is button and this is Gothic House with Secrets. I'm hoping I have enough of this, of the green to be able to do the stripes. I think I will be okay, but I think it's gonna be really pretty and really squishy. That's the thing I'm really excited about for DK weight sweaters is the squishiness of it. I love the feel of fingering weight because it's like loose and airy and like light and it feels really good even though you are wearing wool. Um, but I'm excited. I'm super excited for the squishiness of these things and how fast they're going to go compared, compared 
to fingering white sweaters. So that's the next one. I have four more. The next one, um, I had gotten a, which I'll talk about in the podcast, my next one, I had gotten a huge order of Double Sunday. I've been wanting to try it for a long time. One of my knitting friends, she's doing a couple sweaters in it, and I got to feel it, and it feels wonderful, and I've been just been wanting to try it. So I got a huge order from knit.com, K-N-I-T-T.com. It is a UK-based company that's online and I think they have a store front as well but I don't know about that it did cost a bit in shipping obviously but I did get like 35 balls of double Sunday, literally just double Sunday. so the the package was like literally this big it was awesome it was so much fun um anyway so I got like four or five different sweater quantities of double Sunday especially to go with what I had already gotten from like a couple previous orders. So this is Santa Scarn Double Sunday. This is 100% non-superwash wool, merino wool. Um, this color is olive and I want to do the, the Ava Cardigan by T Petite Knit. Um, so this is olive. It's a nice, beautiful green. I love olive green. That is one of my favorite colors. Um, and I think it would just feel so good in that cardigan. Um, the cardigan is top down, long sleeve. It's oversized and baggy. I will be doing the smallest size to get a little less positive ease. I do still want the positive ease of a cardigan, especially to be able to layer it, but, um, I don't want as much as she's suggesting. So my usual size for petite knit is the small. I have a 34 inch, uh, bust and I usually pick the smalls for her, but she, like the small in the Ava cardigan size is like 12 inches of positive ease. And that is just honestly too much for me. So I'm going to do the smallest size, which is extra, extra small, I guess, which will only be four inches of positive ease, four or five. So I think that's a good, um, middle weight, like middle size for me. Um, yeah, I'm excited to do it. And if I don't like it, I just make another one in a bigger size. So olive, that's the next one. Um, uh, the next one is the clove sweater by Re Rachel Kurihara, Kurihara, sorry. Um, I am also going to do that one in Santa's Garn Double Sunday in the colorway Rose. It's a pink. So I've heard great things about the clove sweater. I've always wanted to make it. It's a top down drop shoulder construction, long sleeve. It is cropped. I am going to, I have enough to be able to make it the length that I want. It is apparently a short row shaping back like to do the drop shoulder. So I'm excited to see, I guess that's a little different than most drop shoulders. I don't know, I haven't made many, so I'm usually a raglan girl or a round yoke, but anyway. Um, so I'm excited to see the difference and to like compare what I've already made versus this next one. So, and I am kind of trying to lean into my pinks, like use my pinks. I bought a ton of pink, I love pink. I'm into pink right now, give me all the pink especially rosy pink like this, dusty pink, whatever. Pink, pink, pink. Okay. I think we get the point. Pink. But um, I want to use them all up now, now that I have them all. So that is the pink clove sweater. Okay. Second to last is the Stockholm sweater by Petite Knit. Um, I am going to use a fingering weight and a mohair held together. So this is Lola Bean, sorry, Lola Bean Yarn Co. in the Bean Sprout, which is an 80-20 superwash merino nylon. This is called Southport. Oh, it's a white with these just delicate pink and blue and purple speckles. Oh, look at that hot pink one right there. Oh, I love it. And then I have Knit Picks Aloft in the colorway white. This is 72% Super Kid Mohair and 28% Silk. I haven't used this before. I got this on a D stash for, you know, I'm thinking cheaper than what I would get it off of Knit Picks, but I have like eight balls of this or 10 balls. I don't know. There's a lot. So I'm going to use those together. I think that will be really, really pretty. I'm excited. So the Stockholm sweater is a top down. I think it's a drop shoulder again. I guess it's like one of her older patterns or something. And then, um, but it looks really nice on her and I'm excited to have that same silhouette. There are quite a few 
petite knit patterns that just look so similar to me and I'm like what exactly is the difference it's literally the same gauge almost the same yarn almost the same it's like a one or two different US size needle so I don't know sometimes I'm just like mm, okay whatever girl whatever but she's very um very successful and she makes beautiful patterns and they fit really well for a lot of different body types so I um I guess I'm happy about the the range and the the being able to pick the different ones that would like suit my body style better so anyway Stockholm I have loved it for a long time so I'm gonna do it I'm excited about that one I don't have many um mohair sweaters I'm working on a one with Surrey right now I have one with mohair it's the no frill sweater that was like one of my very first patterns my very first sweaters this feels really good too it is not scratchy on my neck at all I'm excited okay I just have gotten so excited just even talking about these about all of them okay and then this morning I just added this one to the list about five minutes ago no literally okay maybe 20 minutes ago one of my knitting friends, her name is Tammy. Um, she really wants to make sweater number 14 V-neck version. It's by My Favorite Things Knitwear. It's an oversized V-neck sweater with like big rib and it's like a square and um, shape and it's really pretty. I didn't know that she wanted to make the V-neck version. I thought she wanted to make the re regular round neck version, but um, I'm excited about this. So I've been talking to like looking, thinking about my stash. Um, my favorite things knitwear, she uses a fingering and mohair held together, specifically uh, knitting for olive. She uses the merino fingering and then uh, mohair held together on a si US size 10 needle. So it's going to go fast. And I'm trying to decide, I want to pick out a stash. I really don't want to um, buy but I might have to buy the mohair. I really don't have much, especially it's 200 grams of the mohair for my size. And Knitting for Olive comes in only 25 gram balls for the mohair. So I'd have to have eight, which kind of seems excessive, but I don't know. Anyway, so I do have this DK weight. This is old rusted chair, squish DK, which is 100% superwash merino in the colorway lodgepole. I've had this for quite a few years. It's a rich emerald green. I have five skeins of this, so I think I have enough for the sweater, but I also, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the mohair because I also have this knitting for olive merino that I don't have. Um, a dedicated to a um a project yet and this is pearl gray is the the name of it so i think i do have some like some gray mohair knitting for olive but not all that i would need so i am thinking i do have a dedicated pattern for that mohair that i was going to use but I was also planning on making two of that pattern, like one in white, one in gray. So I might just stick with the white or the cream, whatever, of that pattern and use up the mohair for this. I don't know. I don't really know. But I also don't want to get different lot numbers and have it look completely different. I don't know. If you have a preference, I gotta use this up for something. I just don't know what yet. Maybe I'm trying to think what other DK weight sweaters I would want. Maybe another Dear Duomo, maybe another one, maybe a completely different one that I haven't made yet. I don't know. It's crazy. Crazy the decisions that you have when you shop your stash, huh? And then you have like infinite possibilities for mohair really but I really don't have, like I'm looking right now I don't I don't have mohair or surrey like extra I do have some coming like in a pre-order eventually but I don't have any right now not enough for the sweater 
I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna buy some mohair. Yeah, I'm gonna look online, see what La Mercerie has especially, and just buy some mohair to go with this. I think that'd be really pretty, huh? I don't have any gray sweaters, so why not? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I want to know what DK weight sweater that you have made in the past or that you want to make. And um, yeah, I really like hearing what other people are doing, making, planning, creating, things like that. So until next time, peace. Have a great knitting. Bye.